Today's episode is about the home automation using the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and link application. In this tutorial, you will learn how to control your home appliances from anywhere around the world. The appliances will be controlled with the help of Blink application using your cell phone. Let's get started! The components that we will be needing for this project are number 1 Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module, number 2 12 volt SPDT type relays, number 3 7805 voltage regulator, number 4 2N2222 NPN transistors. Left leg is the amateur, middle one is the base, and the rightmost leg is the collector. Number 5 10 k resistors. Number 6 DC female sockets. Number 7 LED. Number 8 330 ohm resistors. Number 9 470 microfarad capacitors. Number 10 connection wires. Number 11 5 by 7 centimeter of vero board. Number 12 14007 diodes. Number 13 block terminals and number 14 indicator lamps. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This project is based on my previous two tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to install the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi board and how to download and use the Blink library and how to fix the USB UART driver error. While in this tutorial, you will learn how to make a power supply for Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module so that it can be easily powered up using a 12 volt adopter or battery. The tutorial links are given in the description. So, this is the final circuit that we will be using today. Let's have a look at the complete circuit diagram. This is the complete circuit diagram of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi based home automation system. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. Let's start with the power supply. This is a DC female power jig where we can connect a 12 volt adopter or battery. This 12 volt will be used for powering up the Node MCU module and also the relays. As you can see, this 12 volt is connected with the relay coils and is also connected with the input of the 7805 voltage regulator. Four 70 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with the LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The output pin of the 7805 voltage regulator is connected with the VN pin of the Node MCU while the ground is connected with the ground. Make sure you connect all the grounds together. D0, D1, D2 and D3 pins of the Node MCU module will be used to control 4 relays. For controlling these relays, we will be needing 4 relay drivers. The relay drivers simply consist of the 2 in N2222 NPN transistors, 10 kilo ohm resistors and diodes. Watch my tutorial on relay driver circuit design calculations. The link is given in the description. This tutorial covers everything you need to know about relays. As you can see, a 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected with the base of 2N2222 NPN transistor as it's a BJT bipolar junction transistor, a current control device that's why we need a current limiting resistor. We usually use a 10K resistor. The emitter of the 2N2222 NPN transistor is connected with the ground while the collector is connected with one side of the relay coil while the other side of the relay coil is connected with 12V. This relay can be energized and de-energized using this transistor. As you can see, this relay consists of 5 pins, 2 coil pins, common, normally closed and normally open. These 3 pins have no physical connection with the coil pins. A neutral wire is connected with the lamp permanently while the live wire is connected with the lamp through this relay. 
as you can see the live wire is connected with the common of the relay and the normally open is connected with the lamp so by turning on and turning off this relay we can turn on and turn off any load all the connections are exactly the same these are freewheeling diodes used against a big emf protection so this is the relay module you can also use the ready-made relay module these are 10 kilo ohm resistors connected with a base of 2 in 2222 NPN transistors. These are the 1 in 4007 diodes connected across the relay coil pins. These are 12 volt SPDT type relays and these are the terminal blocks. I have soldered some jumper wires so that this relay module can be easily interfaced with other circuits. This relay module consists of 7 relays but I will be using 4 relays. Connect these four relays with D0, D1, D2 and D3. And finally connect the relay module ground with the ground of node MCU module. So that's it. Now let's make a blink application to control these four relays from anywhere around the world. I'll be using a screen recorder on my cell phone so that you can easily see. First of all, open the blink application. Set the project name as Home Automation. Click on the choose device and select node MCU. Make sure you set the connection type to Wi-Fi. Then click on the create button. An authentication token will be sent on your email ID which will be then used in programming. Click on the plus button. Click on the button to aid. Now add three more buttons. Now click on the first button. Write the device name. Then click on pin and select D0. Change mode to switch type. Now similarly repeat the same steps for the remaining three buttons. This is a very simple program but before you start the programming first of all make sure that you download all the necessary libraries and you install the node MCU board. You can watch my tutorial on how to install the node MCU board and how to download the libraries. The link is given in the description. This is the authentication token which is sent via email the time you create a Blink application. This is the name of your Wi-Fi router and this is the password. These are the four pins of the node MCU that will be used to control the relays. Pin mode is a function which takes two arguments as the input or which are the pin name or pin number which is D0, D1, D2 and D3 and then the status which can be either input or output. So these four pins will be used for controlling four relays and which will be used to control four loads. Then there's a blink dot begin authorization SSID and password which is a function and takes three arguments is the input, the authorization, the SSID and the password. Then starts a while loop function which simply consists of one instruction which is the blink dot run function. 
So we are done with the programming. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. As you can see, we can control these indicator lamps. These indicator lamps can be replaced with different loads for heavy loads like water pumps, air conditioners, and refrigerators. Use heavy duty relays. In my next tutorial, I will show you how to monitor the census data. I hope you liked this episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.